Hi Tyler, um, I was just calling to see if you guys by any chance have um, uh, like a heater blower motor for an O2 Toyota Camry. Yeah. Yeah, and also do you have any air filters for that same car? Um, I do not actually. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. Um, when I looked at my car, it says it's a 2.4 liter four cylinder. Does that sound right? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. I'll take both of those. Um, I could be in within the hour to pick them up, if that works. Carly, a C and two E's at the end. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yep. Mm, okay, so I called Napa instead of going in to ask about it because... Future Carly here. So yeah, my GoPro zacked out. Um, so basically, if you guys didn't watch my video from yesterday, I thought that I had blown a fuse in my car because no air is coming out of my air vents, like when I turn on the heat. Uh, check the fuses. Turns out it wasn't that. Here it was the heater blower motor, which could they add any more words that end in an ER? I digress. Um, so I was just calling Napa to see if they had one in, like, in stock, and then also I was going to get in an air filter because I haven't changed mine for seven years probably, like since I've had the car, so that needs to get changed. Um, I think that's all you really need to know. The motor goes behind the glove box and so does my air filter, so I had to dig back there. I don't know if I mentioned that at this part. Um, let's see, what else do you guys need to know? I think that's it. I called Napa because going in there really intimidates me because there's like normally two or three guys standing at the counter visiting with the guys that work there. And it's really intimidating to walk up because then they ask you questions and it's like, I don't know the answers and I feel like you're judging me like I'm a moron, but I know that they're not because honestly Napa got, the, or the guys that work at our Napa store are so, so nice and Napa parts are amazing. So it's like, I don't want to go anywhere but Napa to get car parts if I can help it. Otherwise, Rock Auto is pretty good. But anyways, so yeah, I think I just mentioned being scared to go in the store. That's why I called them instead. But other than that, I think you guys are all caught up so you can probably watch the rest of the video without me having to explain anything. Um, so I don't know if that last clip got cut off or not. I mean, I guess if it did, then future Carly is gonna explain. My GoPro's been kind of acting up. So I'm just driving through the yard right now. I forgot some stuff in the house, the stuff that I need to ship. So I'm gonna do grab that, but then I'm gonna head over to Napa. So they said that the part's gonna be like a hundred bucks, a little over. But I was like, okay, but online it's like 35. So I am gonna ask them about it. It does scare me to ask them, but I'm still going to, cause I'm like, I don't feel like paying an extra 70 bucks if I don't need to. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, it's cold. Okay, so I did look up that part again on my phone and when I googled it on my phone it was like yeah hundred bucks so I don't know maybe it was the wrong one that I was looking at on my computer but whatever ah my hair is so disgusting today like it dried in a super messed up way so I was like gonna put it in a ponytail honestly I need a new Carhartt hat so I'm kind of tempted just to go buy one and then wear that cap all day that stocking cap but I really need to get this done so yeah I got my parts and now I'm gonna go home, have some lunch, kind of take a minute and then go up to the shop and work on my car. There is so many things in that Napa store that I wanna film because it is such a cool like small town car parts kind of a store kind of vibe. I mean, Mandan's not really like that small of a town, but still there's a lot of cool stuff. It's a little run down, but it's just really cool. There was guys sitting there talking at the counter and that made me a little nervous to walk up to that. Um, but overall the guys were super nice and I know that if I had questions or something, they would totally help me, but now I'm done, so. So to get started, I had already popped out my glove box. The next thing to do was to take off that piece that goes around it. Um, there's three screws. Here's me taking off the first one, kind of struggling, you know, how it'd be. 
taking off the second one. After I had the second one off, I was like, all right, cool. We are good to go. I'm done taking off screws. Also, right now I'm recording this voiceover under a blanket to create sort of a sound booth. So I hope it sounds okay. Anyway, so here's me taking off the second screw, thinking I'm done, trying to take it out. Oh, wait a minute. There's a third screw right in the middle. Cause you know, we don't want that bad boy falling off. Anyways, fun story. I could not find any YouTube videos on how to do this for my exact year of my car. So honestly, I was kind of guessing. Yeah, so I'm gonna sit here and struggle with this for a hot minute. Um, having absolutely no luck whatsoever. Then slowly realizing I need to take off a whole bunch of other stuff before I can get that one piece that I actually need out, out. Actually, it's not a whole lot. It's just that stuff that's kind of back in the corner along the floor. Not a huge deal, but the plastic is so old. Well, not so old. It's 19 years old. So older, but it was so stiff and I just could not get it to move to save my life. And I even took out all of the screws. Everything was removed. That one piece back there in the corner would not come out until... Oh. No! F yeah. I, uh, I ripped that piece but at first I wasn't mad because I was like ah you know what who cares it's on the passenger side I'll just put some gorilla glue on the back of it and slap that puppy back into place no big deal at this point I just did not care nope whatsoever I wanted to get this piece out and sadly enough like after honestly probably 10 minutes of monkeying with it and trying to get it out and then getting that black piece pulled down first, thinking that would help. I just ended up breaking off a piece off of the back that was holding it in place. I was like, you know what? I'll deal with that when I try to put it back together. Worst case scenario, I try to find another piece to replace that, the one that I broke with. My dog was very concerned about me, which was really sweet. Hey, buddy. I'm not mad at you, honey. I'm mad at my car. <sighs> no. Unfortunately, I have to stop the video for today. I have somewhere to be at. I need to take a break after I find a success, you know, getting to the motor, you know, after I've had some failure, which is breaking that one piece out, which who knows, maybe I can replace it or maybe it'll go back in with no problem, I guess. I don't really know. But this is it for today's video. Tomorrow I'm gonna be working on it again because this is my main vehicle. So I'm gonna need this thing to get back up and running pretty quick. So come back tomorrow if you guys wanna see me work on this a little bit more if not if this is the only video you guys watch of mine thanks for watching and for hanging out with me i i do hope that you still enjoyed it um but that's it for me so i'll see you guys maybe tomorrow bye guys